Hello, everybody. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, Mr. Pass there. I see Mary and Lucas. I see the commodes. I see Mr. Landon. And you guys now see the Taekwondo cam. We changed the name. Taekwondo cam, that's us. All right, so it was, um, typically it's Krav Maga today, uh, but Mr. Rena's writing an exam, so we are doing Taekwondo. So we're gonna do our basics, doing some patterns, uh, some kicks, all sorts of good stuff, okay? So as we practice in our patterns, uh, Chun Ji, Dan Gun, Do San, Wan Yo, you go. Jun Gun, Toy Gay. Nice job, Evangeline. Those are nice. Nice knife anchor and more. Mary, did you color your hair? Yeah? Okay. And is it pink or red? Supreme Jaden. Nice. Good for you. Yeah. I'm going to do that with my hair too, Mary. I'm going to dye pink. I'm on the bad wagon. I'm going to dye one hair. <laughs> the top one. You got about three minutes. I have a, I have a 19 year old daughter. Yeah. <laughs> and that's not my experience. <laughs> Y'all are not exactly. old. Uh, so, Miss Jaden, I sent you an email about your uh, reference. So I sent it all in. Okay. Thank you for giving me time to do that. <laughs> the last one I did for Matt Jenner, he sent it to me at like one o'clock, and he said, "I need it there in like fifteen minutes." <laughs> I went, "Oh, <laughs> that's not very nice." <laughs> I got it there, but it's not nice. But I appreciate all the time you gave me. Mr. Taylor Armstrong, representing Rutland football. Rut what? Rutland. Oh, one minute. One minute. Mr. Sebastian's in the house. Nice to see you, sir.
All right, it's time. We know it's time because Mr. Corbin's just clicked in. Hello, Mr. Corbin, nice to see you. Oh, we got all three of us. Look at that. Ready? Face front. Treat. Come on. Have a seat down, please. Sit up nice and tall. for you how is your mental state how is your mental state is it good sort of just average or is it not doing very well i said sort of just average good. now he's sort of saying it's down but sebastian says it's good all right miss evangeline's like moving her thumb around like from second to second it changes right now she's good then she's not so good then she's really bad then she's not so good and all over the place but do you know how you can tell how your mental state is, if you're in a positive or really into a negative mental state. How do you respond if something doesn't go as planned? That tells you where your mental state is. So if you are going along in your day and something unforeseen happens or it doesn't go the way you thought it was gonna go, how do you react to that? If you react in a negative way, you get upset or you blame somebody else or you maybe make excuses or you deny it. So we call that you're laying in bed. Blame excuses not. If you're doing that, then you're in a negative mindset. If you're in that negative frame of mind, you have the wrong kind of mentality. If something bad comes along and it's, it's a challenge, it's an opportunity, you're looking for solutions, you take responsibility for it, you're not passing the buck. You're like, hey, that was me, and yeah, maybe messed it up, but I'm going to make it right. You're in the positive frame of mind. We want to get into that positive frame of mind as much as we can, and it's hard to do. The reality is, it's hard to do. Sometimes we're there, and we don't even know why we're there. We're in that positive vortex. Of thinking. Sometimes we're in the negative vortex. Of thinking. We don't know why we're. But how do we transition from one to the next? Well, we got to make sure that we're doing stuff that inspires us. We have to make sure that we do stuff that helps us get there. It bridges a gap. And it might be you connect with people. It might be you listen to music, you read a book, you play video games, um, you do Taekwondo, you pray. Whatever it is for you, you do it because it inspires you. And it moves you along that, that compass to get to the positive mentality. 
functionality that people have. But you have to constantly be checking in with yourself of how you're feeling mentally. And you have to acknowledge, hey, something bad happened and I got really frustrated. Why did I get frustrated? Was it because something bad happened or is there something bigger? Like, you gotta be looking at that every day. Especially right now, there's still a lot of uncertainty. We have to be looking at ourselves and taking responsibility for ourselves every single day. Even if we're in a family unit, and I'm sure the families are getting along great, there's no issues, they absolutely love on each other. You never get any upset with your brother or sister, right, Elias? You love your sister all the time. You never get frustrated with her. Just like she doesn't get frustrated with you. But you have to be constantly checking in with your, your family, seeing how you're doing. And if you need help, ask for help. Okay, we are going to be doing Taekwondo tonight. I know it's a problem with all night, but Ms. Tarina is off writing an exam, and I don't want to teach self-defense. I want to teach basics and patterns. So that's what we're going to work on. Basics and patterns. So let's stand up nice and tall. Oh, old guy getting off the floor. Ready? Ten minutes. Mr. Earl. Courtesy. Respect yourself and others. Ms. Melissa. Thank you. Mr. Rowe, perseverance, patience, never, never, never give up. Self-control, control of thought, emotion, actions, and results. Left exercise, right toes, and left toes. Right ankles, whoops, left ankles. Nice, knee bends halfway. One, two, and three, all the way down. One, two, and three. Circle those knees both ways. Now our hips. Hula, 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 both ways. Awesome, push your head forward. And relax, push it to the back. Relax, to one side. To the other side. Forward, back, side, side. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. Drop it, spot, open and close. Stretch that out. Three circles in, and out. Elbows in, and out, shoulders back, forwards, and stop. Push your body side to side. And relax, see together. Somebody needs some oil in their joints or something. Reach it now, grab your toes, straighten your legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, hold it. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Standing tall. Feet apart. Hands above your head. Draw in big circles. One, two, three. Other way. Three, two, and one. Hands behind your back. Pull it over. And up. Pull it over. And up. Okay, one more time, pull over. And up. We're just gonna do this for the whole class. Yeah, right there. Nice. Stretching to one side. Good, switch. We lost Mr. Landon. Got Landon down, oh, there he is. <laughs> and switch, like whack-a-mole. Pick up down below. And then when we switch, he pops back up. And one more time, because we can switch. <laughs> that was so confusing, Tyson fell over. Awesome. And come on up. Oh, OK. So basic movements. Uh, we're going to do these um, a set of drills. They're called four direction. Now, it's something that we used to do um, years and years and years ago. We stopped them because it was just so much memorization of patterns and four directions and stuff like that. But they are really useful if you don't have a lot of space. So if you can't practice your full range of motions and your patterns, you can practice these simple combinations. Okay, And there's four of them that we'll go through. Um, and then we'll do a little bit of our own patterns tonight as well. Okay, let's start with 
basic movements first, then we'll get into the four directions. So, turn, pose stance, good, open stance, sitting stance, nice, right fighting stance. Remember, we are right fighting stance, we want our left foot to be in line with our right heel. Left foot in line with our right heel. It is not sort of heel to heel because that will bring my foot inside of my other foot. I want to be outside. Okay. Extend, so slide that front foot forward, straight punch. Good. Make sure our knees are bent. This feels awesome, playing floor all day. Yep. This feels great. Good. Then step back, stooping walk. Then you ready, stand. Hey, lift your front leg. Arms are extended. Okay. And many stands. B. You're gonna shift to the front, lift that knee even higher. Awesome. Then we go X stands. So we take a left foot in behind our right foot. We go right hand, left hand reinforces. So it's the right X block. Left X stand, left X block. That's it. So we want to go middle section. If we want to get lower, we just sort of bend our knees. Okay. We don't ever really want to lean over because you just need to kick in the face, and that just hurts. That's just silliness. Right fighting. Right, left fighting. Left fighting. Yeah, left fighting. Great. Fixed stance. Boom. Right fixed. Mr. Como, why are you not doing technique, sir? Your knee is hurting. Oh. Well, you're talking to an old guy who laid floor all day. Your knees are hurting, young. Okay, okay. rest it. You got to rest. Go. Okay, scooby block. Then you ready to stand? A. Good. Now, Mr. Pat, you got to bring your foot down. We don't need our foot to sort of go way up and out of alignment there. Good. Then he stands B. Nice. He goes up higher now. That's it. Okay. Then put down left walking stance. Yeah. Make sure we have that hip width between our feet. So, Mr. Evangeline, you're a little bit narrow in your stance. You got to go wider. If you're, yeah, that's it. Take your feet wider. So our shoulders should fit in between our feet. If my feet are in alignment, I'm too narrow. I'm too dipped. Okay. And low walking stance, high fingertip press. Mr. Tyson, you're probably just a little bit too wide. Your shoulders are not that wide. Yeah, not yet. That's next week. Okay, good. And step forward, right walking stance. Front knee is bent, back leg is straight. Low walking stance, high fingertip thrust. Awesome. And come on. All right, let's walk through some basic techniques, some basic blocks, punches, and kicks, and combinations of that. Then we're going to do the four directions. Let's we'll start right fighting stance. So we only have a little bit of space. We're going to move forward twice and move backward twice. Ready? Go forward. Low block. One. Turn our shoulders. Two. Turn our shoulders. Nice. Right, step backwards. One. Two. Good. Going forward, middle section under four block. One, two. Nice. Go backwards. One. Backwards. Two. Good. Step forward, knife hang. Ready block. One, two. Good. Go backwards. One, two. Awesome. Step forward, twin knife hand. Walk. One, like in dual dog pattern. So when we do this motion, like doing twin form, remember we cross our arms up we step forward. We cross my arms, my front hand is my primary. It goes first, covered by my back hand, and booyah. Well, so Mr. Landon, just change your hands. Okay, your back hand, yep, your right hand should be high, your left hand up. Nice, let's go backwards now. Turn our shoulders. Primary block is my right hand. It goes first, covered by my left hand. One. Yep, step back. Now my primary is my left hand, covered by my right hand. Two. That's it, Mr. Julius. Make sure that front or that back hand is coming across our forehead and it's not sitting back here. This back here is not blocking anything. So gonna get fun. Okay, step forward, reinforce starting block. So as I do this motion, both hands are my palms are facing down, and I rotate. So I'm doing a middle section inner four block, and my other hand goes towards my elbow. I'm going to come closer. So my pinky side 
is touching my inside of my arm. And I was talking to Miss Mary about this one. Was it Mary? Maybe. Or maybe it was Miss Kate. We were talking about this motion. So when we're here, the next pattern after black stripe, but after chung move, we have this motion where we drop this hand. We do the reinforced starting block, and then we drop this hand. So if you have this one's able to rotate and pivot, that's what we need it to be. So we're in that position. Reinforce guarding. Okay, stepping forward, reinforce guarding. That's it. So in this one, we're typically in a walking stance. And I can't think of any pattern where we're not. Now let's step backwards, turn our shoulders, reinforce guarding block. So the purpose of this block is stopping a big, heavy back leg turning kick, reinforce guarding block. Yeah, that's it, Sue. Turn. So every time we're moving, we're going to turn first and then execute the block. We just turn our body and then we block. Okay, nice. So we're staying in that position there. Let's go forward and we're going to do pressing block. So this is from June Gun. So as we go forward, our right leg goes forward, my right hand goes out, my left hand goes back. And I'm just going to go slow and press. Okay, and I go forward with my left, my right hand goes back. So see how my right hand, my palm is facing up, my left hand, my palm is facing down. And as I switch, bring them perpendicular. Good, then we step back, left hand reaches, and we press. Good, so front hand, or sorry, my back hand should stop right above my groin. My front hand, my right hand, will stop just the middle of my chest. Okay, and step back, press. Good. Nice. Let's step forward and go low section, double knife hands. Good. So just like doing a middle section knife hand guarding block, we're just doing low section. So the hands stay in exactly the same position, they're just down low. So my front one is going to be just above my leg. My back one is just right above my belt. Let me go forward, our hands back, low section, double leg. That's it eventually. Good. Now go backwards. One. Backwards, two. Good. Going forward, low section, double inner forearm walk. This one's you go a bit of a circular motion. So my hands go circle around. And then I dig in, like I'm digging a shovel into the dirt. Okay. We used to call it a digging wall. Digging motion. Go forward, circle, dig. <laughs> Good. Go backwards, circle. This is a test in your mental stability right now. Going backwards. Nice. Okay. Going forward, double arc hand. So as we step forward with our right, we're going to push both hands out to our left. So we're making a bit of a triangle. And they're going up like 45 degree circular block. We're pushing out at an angle. Our body stays going straight forward. We're pushing out to the side. Just like 45 degree circular block. That's it. Keep your fingers and your thumbs together. They're not overlapping, but they're just sort of together there. Okay, then go forward the other way. Double arch. So Mr. Sebastian has this in his pattern. Okay, nice. Let's go backwards. Double arch. Good. So, Mr. Elias, just have your hands go the other direction. You're going to go towards Sarah. Yeah, that's it. That's it. And go back, double arc. Nice. All right, funky one. Stepping forward, alternating palm block. So, we're going to go push down with our back hand, and our right hand covers it. So, alternating palm. And we typically are in an L stamp. Okay, so be in our L. Okay, go forward, alternate palm. Whoa, is that Annika flying through the screen there? Super Annika, step back, alternate palm. This is from second dance patterns. Good, step back, alternate palm. Excellent, excellent. Okay, relax. So a lot of different techniques inside there. Um, you know, you think of the purpose of the moves, that's one of the essentials we have in patterns. You have to sort of do some research and figure out, okay, what's the purpose of each of those moves that we just did? Some of them are blocks, stopping a technique, stopping a knee strike, stopping uh, kicks. Some of them have 
the same mechanical value as an attack. So the reinforced starting block could also be a throw. As I throw some, if I grab this plus and I throw her over the table, the same body mechanics happen in that same move. Okay? Don't throw your siblings over the table. I'm looking right at Miss Jaden because I just know <laughs> something's going. I know. Don't give me one of those. <laughs> Seeing your mom right beside you going, yeah, Miss Jaden, yeah. Yeah, it's true. Okay. So four direction movements. And again, this is great for us to practice in a box. So if I have like a one mat of space, I can practice these four moves. And for us, one mat is a three by three, three feet by two. Okay. So we're going to start with right fighting stance, so right leg is back. We still want good technique. So we're going to start with low block with our front hand, low block. Yep. Then back leg front kick. And we step forward and go high block, reverse punch. That's it. Nice. Let's go back. Middle second. Yeah, middle second. So let's do it again. Ready? Show sure with our left hand, left low one. Now think of the mechanics of this. We're going to do our front kick. So we go hands up, front kick, then high block. Now, how do we want to generate power for our punch from this position? I can't just punch. I'm only using tiny little shoulder muscles. Yeah, Jack and Jaden got it. Then turn and drive. Okay, so the hands up high. We pull. My punching hand is my left hand. I pull it to the back and I drive it forward. Okay, we want that mechanics. All right, ready? Let's do the right leg one more time. Then we'll go to the left side. Stepping back. Left low block. Right front kick. Right high block. Left punch. If you want to yell. Don't do it because you're probably in your house and you're going to scare people in your house. Okay, come on back. If you're outside, Taylor, you can totally yell. I bet you no one would look at you funny there. Okay, left leg's going to go back, right low block. One. Left leg goes back. Good. Left front kick. Left high block. Right punch. Turn your shoulders. Right. Does that feel familiar? That high block to reverse punch, it might feel a bit like go sand if you've done that pattern. Okay, so block, turn, drive for power at that point. Same body mechanics. Okay, here we go. Let's do it again. Left leg goes back, right low block, one. Yeah, front kick two, high block three, punch four. Excellent. Make sure we're punching to the center line of our body. Miss Annika dancing through again. Where's your angel posture? Okay. Good. Punching to the center of our body all the time. All right, let's do left leg one more time. I'm going to go to side kick. Ready? Left leg goes back, low block. What? Nice. Front kick two. High block three. Reverse punch four. Excellent. Good rhythm. Take them back. Cool. Next one goes four direction side kick. First motion is the right leg goes back. We go middle block like in Chun G the pattern. Okay, middle block. Yeah, so remember how we deliver that technique? Yeah, we want to go from underneath to the middle section. Back leg side kick. We're going to turn our hip, foot drives forward, boom, side kick, knife hand guarding ball. Then bring that foot in. Your right foot comes in. Right foot goes back out to right walking stance. High reverse punch. Yep, that's it. So we want to make sure we transition this, this body position from L stance, just like when we do June gun the pattern, for those of you who do blue belt pattern, that foot comes in and we turn back out to drive power for that punch. Yeah, let's do it again. Right leg goes back. Ready? Middle block, one. Good, back leg side kick, turn your hips. Knife hand guarding block, high section reverse punch, boom. Drive for power. Oh, reverse punch, Mr. Lang, that is your backhand. Yeah, reverse punch is your backhand. That's the one. That's it. Good. Okay. One more time on the right leg. Then we go to the left leg. Ready? Kick. Just a little bit harder. We're not super warmed up. Us older kids here might need a little bit more time. You younger kids, you probably got it. Ready? The right leg goes back. Middle block. One. That's it. Back leg side kick. Two. Leg hand right block. High reverse punch. Three. Excellent. 
Okay, let's do our left leg. Okay, left leg goes back. What? Shh. Middle block. Good. Left leg should be back, Mr. Lucas. Mr. Corbin, left leg. Yep, good. Back leg side kick. Boom. Nice hand, granny block. And high section reverse. Good. That's it. So remember when we're doing the side kick, we want it to go in a straight line. So when I do that moment, I'm just going to cover up Mr. Melissa here for a second. So when I do that motion, I turn my hip, goes through, pivot this front foot, and my leg comes up. And it gives me that straight line. I'm not doing this, and it's more of a turning hip, right? You want this straight line. Side. Okay, let's do our left leg again. Left leg goes back, middle section block. One. <laughs> Good. Back leg side kick. Two. Nice hand graded block. Three. Nice kick pass. Four. High punch. That's it. That's it. Excellent. Miss Sue, you're lucky to have those young hard drives right beside you. Hey, they got stuff memorized already. It's good. Okay. All right. So number three. So this is actually for always for our green stripe. So if you were doing do stand up pattern, you would do this four direction one more. And it's four direction turning. The movements feel very familiar. So let's go open stance. Right leg's gonna go back. We're gonna go left middle section, outer forearm block, like in those and the pattern one. Good, reverse punch two. Back leg turning kick. And then step out, sitting stance, knife hand strike. Okay, come on back. Just do those four moves again. Just nice and gentle. Don't have to kick super hard, super fast yet. One, middle block. Right leg goes back. Good, reverse punch, two. Nice back leg turning kick, three. Leg hand strike, four. Excellent, come on back. Okay, let's do it one more time. I'll count, you guys get to do it. And one, lock. Two, punch. Three, kick. Four, knife hand strike. Yeah, okay, come back. So when we're doing those, those kicks, okay, we go block, punch, and we're going to kick. We want to make sure we rechamber our leg as well, too. We kick, boom, and rechamber. Then, with purpose, I can go to my night hand strike. I'm trying to not do this. I do this all the time, but I'm trying to really hard not do this. Do this, go boom, and step into it. Because if I do that when I'm sparring with, say, Mr. Elias, what happens? Mr. Elias punches me in the face. <laughs> right? And I don't want to get punched in the face. I want to make sure I keep my leg here. Boom. And then if he comes charging and try and punch me in the face, I might be able to take a and get it to go back. We want to make sure we work on our balance. Let's do our left leg. Left leg goes back, right middle section block. Ready? One. Right middle block. Good. Two, reverse punch. Awesome. Three, turning. Four, knife hand strike. Excellent, come back. So the turning kick you're doing is either in step, so the top of the foot, or ball of foot, depending on how you want to throw the kick. Either one of them is fine. Traditionally, it'd always be in step, okay? That would be the, in, the traditional way of doing it. Now, we could be looking at the ball of foot. Mr. Path, did you have a question for us? Okay, sir, one second. Hold on. All right, sir, go. Is it a sitting stance when you do the knife hand strike? Yes, sir. Sure. Just like at the end of the pattern. Good question. Okay. So just like at the end of go stand the pattern, we have sitting stance for knife hand strike. Same with this one. Okay. Thank you for that question. Good clarification. Okay. Let's do our left leg goes back again. Ready? And one, two, three, four. Strike. Sitting stance. Look in the direction you're going. Yeah, look in the direction you're striking. Nice, and we come back. Okay, let's do it again. Left leg goes back. One, two, three, four. Awesome, good, sitting stand, come on back. Okay, let's do number four, and then we're gonna like, get nuts with this. Okay, it's gonna get crazy bananas, and bananas is good. So left leg, or sorry, right leg's gonna go back. We're gonna start with twin forearm walk. So this would be number four. So Miss Sue, if we were doing these for belt testing, 
this would be what you would have to do. Okay? We're not putting it in a belt testing. Mrs. Rowe asked me, are you going to put these back in the belt testing? No, we are not. But they are good practice. Okay, they're really good practice. So right there goes back, we go to inform block. Remember, our primary is our front hand, so our left hand goes first, covered by our right hand, twin form. So we say the word twin. Then we're going to do a spin back fist, or sorry, a spin back kick. So we're going to turn and kick with our right leg, back. Then we go back fist. And we bring this right foot in and right foot back out, and we thrust middle section. Yeah. A bit of a combination of dosan, dangun, and a twin form. Okay, let's try it again. Ready? Right leg goes back. I always just remember this phrase. Ready? Twin. Spin. Back foot. Thrust. Same hand, same leg. That's it. Remember when we thrust, do this middle section thrust, we want the hand to push down, and this one comes over top. So they shouldn't be touching, and it should be just right around my elbow joint, not up in my arm. Okay. Let's do that side one more time. Oh, we have a question. I have a question. From the boy in the back. What's the stance for back foot? Ooh, good question. I think it's L stance. It feels like an L stance. Let's do it, and I'll, I can tell you how it feels. Okay. I. Great question. Ready? Let's do it again. Right leg goes back. Twist. Spin. Back this. L stance. I like it. Just feels like it. Yeah. And thrust walking stance because we have to transition. Yeah. So it makes sense that because we're going to transition, we're not going to be in walking stance and then transition now. You could. It's not wrong if you did that. You're just practicing technique. Okay. Let's do our left leg. And then we get real jinky with this. Okay. Trivia for you. Who says jinky? Oh, no, no. no. <laughs> Mrs. Crow said no one. There's someone who says it. They may not be a real person, but they say it. Ready? Left leg goes back. Twin forearm lock. Remember your primary. Your right hand is your primary. Left leg goes back. Twin forearm lock. Sorry, Mr. Jane. Yeah, I changed on it. And back hand of pressure for you. Good. Spin. Left back fist, L stamp, and pull that left foot in, thrust out, same hand, same leg. It feels really funny to thrust with this hand. Yep, thrust, same hand, same leg. Yeah, so because we're kicking with our left leg, we should be thrusting with our left hand. Okay, Michelin, let's do it again. Left leg goes back, twin, spin, back fist. And thrust. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. Yeah. <laughs> you know how many times you would do that same movement, but see, that was excellent. That's what we do. Like, which hand is it? Let's try it again. Ready? Left leg goes back. Twin. That's it. Spin. Back fist. Remember, same hand. Front hand, front leg. Thrust. Feels funny. Just work through it. Good. Uh, Mr. Jack, yeah. It's always got to be someone. Nice. Okay. So what we'd always do, we'd always call these ones four directional movements. And it was a four direction because we went in all four directions. So if my right leg went back, if I go back to say four direction front kick, I'd step back, low block, front kick, high block, punch. My right leg would then step in and step back again. I always sort of turn to the left. Okay, so that's how we would do four directions. You'd always turn to the left and then it always goes to the right. So if I use my left leg, I'd go low block, front kick, high block, punch, and I'd turn. Low block, front kick, high block, punch, and I turn again. We do it four times. We go all the way around. And then you gotta go the other way. But you guys are too cool for that. We don't need that kind of nonsense. What we are gonna do are put all four directions together and go all the way around. Blew my mind. Oh yeah, Miss Evangeline is, what is going on with this chaos? It could be paint fumes or glue fumes from doing pouring or painting, I don't know, but we're gonna try this. Let's do it. Right leg's gonna go back. Jack's all in, Jack's all in. Supreme Jaden's got this. Ready? Right leg goes back, low block, one. Nice, front kick, two. 
high block three, reverse punt four. Remember, our right leg goes in, and our right leg goes out, and we're going to go to side kick now. So four direction side kick, middle block. Back leg side kick. Nice hand guarding block. Reverse punch. High section. Good. I know this is challenging your brain. Let's go. Our right leg goes in. Our right leg goes out. Middle section, outer forearm block. Four direction turning kick. Then we punch. Nice. Back leg turning kick. Sitting stance. Nice hand strike. Awesome. Right leg comes in. Right leg goes back up. We say twin forearm block. Spin back kick, back fist, and thrust. Mr. Elias, you got your leg up on the couch like you're a pirate. I like it. Good for you. Nice. And we return. Okay. So that's it. That's the four directions. And for black belts, we had to do this. Like we had to do all of these four directions. There's actually eight of them all together. We had to do all of them, plus all of the patterns. So there was no mercy. Like there was no, we're gonna do two patterns and then you're gonna guess one. No, no, we just did all nine and all eight four directions. So anyway, um, let's do our left leg now. Okay, I know I'm rewiring your brain a little bit. The, the synapses are going. This is awesome. I'm so excited to do class tonight. <laughs> okay, left, left leg goes back. Don't forget, I still want the answer to who says pinkies. Ready? Left leg goes back, low block. Front kick, high block, punch. Good, here's where we're changing. Now our left leg goes in, left leg goes out, middle block. We're doing four direction side kick now. Left leg in, left leg up, good. Side kick with our back leg. Ninth hand guardian block. High section reverse punch, stepping to walking stance. That's the one, good. Left leg in, left leg goes to the back. We go middle block. Like in go stand the pattern. Reverse punch. Back leg turning kick. Remember, in step or ball of foot and leg head straight, sitting step. Left leg comes in, left leg goes out, twin. Spin back kick, back fist, and middle thrust. Okay, who's got it? Who's got it all the way through? I, I see a little bit of confusion. I see a little bit of confusion. That's okay. Right? I think Mr. Sebastian's probably got it. Yeah. Yeah? You got it, Debbie? You want to demo it? You want to spotlight? Okay, let's do it. We're going to spotlight Mr. Sebastian, throw him way out there in the middle. Okay. Hold on. I got you, Sammy. Here we go. Here's Mr. Sebastian. Um, so you can pick any leg you want. <laughs> any leg you want. I'm going to walk you through it as well, right? I'll say it with you. Okay? So let's use your right leg. Okay? Right leg goes back. Ready? Low block. Good, front kick, high block, punch. Good, right leg back and right leg away, middle block, muscle block. Nice, back leg side kick, knife hand guarding block. And high section reverse punch. Awesome, right leg back and away, middle block, reverse punch. Oh, one sec, rotate your hand, so outer forearm block, sorry, yep, then reverse punch. Back leg turning kick, knife hand strike, sitting stance. Awesome. Right leg back and away, twin. Spin. Back fist. Thrust. And same hand, same leg. Yep, that's it. The right hand should be thrust. Nice work, sir. Good. Okay, return. Awesome. I know. That was awesome. <laughs> yeah. Smashed it. Now, a couple of things. Just there's more technical things. Oh, Mary is clapping for you. Um, so when we're doing the back fist, we want to come from underneath. Okay, when you do your back fist, you sort of came from on top, and it's it, it's a fine detail. But when we come middle block, and we're going to think about that rotation of the hand. Because if I'm going to do a side strike, I'm going to side strike this way, so my arms actually go this way. So we want to be able to rotate that. And we want to be able to pull more for power. So we come from underneath. Okay, so that's our high side strike. So uh, June gun, go sand, we're doing those back fists. We want to come from there, underneath. Okay, so just something small and technical that you can practice as well. 
But you can see how those movements, those four directional movements, can be really impactful. You're practicing, I guess each one has four, and there's four of them, so there's 16 movements you're practicing. They're all relatively different. You're practicing six different movements, punches and kicks and blocks, in a short period of time. Okay, so that's the benefit of doing the four direction movement. I do not want to put them into the grading system or anything like that. But if you want to practice techniques, you can practice any technique. You can create your own pattern, your own flow. You're totally okay to do that, right? Um, so your homework for tonight is I want to see those techniques. And again, you watch Mr. Sebastian do it. He didn't memorize it because he just didn't. But the technique that he does is always so clean it's easy to do it, right? The technique that he's practicing is always gonna be correct, and that's what we want. We want proper technique, not just memorization of movement. Because then when he throws those techniques for self-defense or for sparring, his technique is really good. And that's what you want. Okay, Mr. Path, you have the same kind of technique that you use, right? When you practice your sparring, your patterns are very clean through it, that's what you want. So make sure that we're always working on our techniques. Okay? All right, so that's your homework. Do the four directions. You can do one, two, three, or four, or if you're really crazy ninja, you can do all four of them together and you can do that bit of a circle like that if you want to. I'm gonna leave it up to you. I just wanna see clean technique if you come back. So uh, let's stand up my cell. We're gonna do a little bit of your own pattern. Okay, so your own pattern. You get to pick. I know if the Sorensen household, you guys aren't all gonna go at the same time, so maybe Miss Sue, you'll go first. Um, Lucas can go. Uh, Mary, you can sit and watch, and uh, everybody else, I think, has space for themselves, yes? Okay, ready? Chubby, so you do your own pattern. I'm doing my pattern right behind you. Do the pattern way back there, that's cool. Yeah. All right, and... Chubby. Relax when you're finished. Good. Okay. If you have partners there, uh, talk to your partners. Give them some feedback. And if you're, you know, sort of running solo, or like Elias and Sarah, you guys do your pattern at the same time, so no one's watching you, that's okay. Do a bit of self-evaluation. How did you do? Okay. Did you have lots of power in it? You know, did, was it good technique? And you took some of the power out? Or did you put more power in so maybe you lost some of the tech? And that happens too, right? And we're going to switch so that uh, Jaden and Jack will go out and Mary's going to go out. So we're going to do your pattern again. Okay. Uh, Sarah, I'm going to have you rest for a second. Let's watch Delius. Not on the couch. What do you think? You're at home? <laughs> you are. All right, Jumbi. And your own pattern. Shia. Good, relax when you're finished.
All right. And relax and talk to your partners if you have them there. If not, do some self-evaluation. How'd you do? How was it? Uh, Mr. Elias, Elias, so when you did yours, you just went the, the wrong direction after your thrust. You just got to turn the other way, okay? That's why, probably why the back end of the, your pattern felt a little bit funny. Okay, just turn the other direction. Awesome. Okay. All right. Come on. Oh. So one other um, technique that we didn't cover in class that is in uh, June Gun. I want to go through this pattern, this part of the um, this technique, because it is a bit of a funny one. And when we do this Scooby Block rear foot stance in June Gun, it's this motion that comes from behind us. So if I'm turning sideways, motion comes from here. Okay. So it's this motion of scooping up underneath, either grabbing someone's foot, they're doing a kick and you're going to grab their foot. In June Gun, because of the movement that we're doing, we're actually stepping forward towards something. And I wouldn't necessarily want to step towards the end of a kick like this and try and scoop their foot. I would step backwards and try and scoop their foot. So I think this is more of an attacking motion. But it's this idea that this hand is coming from here and it's scooping up. Okay? And it's here. So to get momentum and power for this, the hip has to go and the shoulders go. So hip leads and then your shoulders come forward. Okay? Now, something that's kind of weird, and just listen to me on this. If you're trying to do this motion, this rear foot stance, I'm going to back up a little bit. So if you're trying to do the rear foot stance, you're going to be in sort of a, a vertical stance with your back leg, vertical, so it's very straight, and all of a sudden you're going to drop like that. Okay? So as you do that motion, you're vertical with this leg, and you drop your hip, okay? That's how you get the power, at least the perception of power into it. And I think about it like if you're trying to sit on a stool and someone pulls a chair away from you and you decide to catch yourself, you don't just fall to the floor. Um, that's kind of what that's like, okay? We did a belly fit class in Taekwondo like probably 10 years ago, and we worked on that hip motion. That's where it all came. So that was nice. That was belly. Hey, belly fit. Like who knew? Who knew? Taekwondo black belt doing belly fit. It rocks. That's all I'm gonna say. Uh, last week of this month of April, there are no classes, no online classes. We are moving the school. We were in there. Mr. Rowe was down there with me today. Laid floor for um, a lot of hours. We got the front lobby done. We have uh, the wall hallway part to do, a couple of bathrooms and stuff like that. Uh, putting up all the trim and baseboards and everything. So that should be done, we're hoping by Friday, tomorrow. Um, and we're getting close. We're getting close to being able to move everything over there, but we're planning for the last week of the month. Uh, so there'll be no online classes at that time, okay? If you're on Facebook, you can check out the school. Mrs. Uh, Rowe has been doing a lot of videos, and photos of what it looks like and everything like that. Uh, Mr. Donald Godin is our main contractor there who helped us build this school and it's looking very good over at the new school so that's uh the only real announcement we have going on okay thanks Mr. Josh. Appreciate it. um here we go let's do our breathing exercise and then we shall dismiss hands together next one on the count of three two one breathe in love family enthusiasm romance Desire, faith, hope, passion, vision in, out of your body, fear, worry, anxiety, hatred, revenge, negative thinking, superstition, and blame. All good things in. Anything I don't need, I just let it go. Breathe in, love, compassion, forgiveness, abundance, courage, and encouragement for myself. And I breathe out love, compassion, forgiveness, abundance, courage, and encouragement for everyone I come in contact. All right, so I just got to point out, I love watching you guys interact at home because I get to see Miss Mary and Mr. Lucas banter back and forth even more than they do here. And I see the same thing from the Sorensons and same thing from, from the Irani family. Uh, it's really cool. 
but we really miss you guys. I miss seeing you, I miss talking to you. So I'm hoping that by May, we're able to get back into full regular classes, uh, live and in-person classes. Uh, that's that's the, the prayer that I have. So uh, if that's in you to pray for it, think about it, uh, hope for it, whatever you do, please do that. Um, Cause I just, I wanna be able to throw dodgeballs at Lucas and I wanna be able to punch and kick towards Mr. Helios. And I wanna get kicked in the face by Mr. Path again during sparring class on Saturday morning. I'm missing that. And then also getting stabbed by Jack during self defense. That's always a fun thing. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Great. That's his mess. Face front. Chuni. Chuni. Type one. All right. One coordinated high five. Three, two, one. Boom. Shakalaka. All right. So who says? Jinkies. Who knows it? Who says it? What show is it from? What show? Wait. Pardon? Oh, Mr. Landon wins it. Scooby Doo. Thank Which you, sir. What? Thank you. Scooby Doo. What? <laughs> what are the, the, the brainy person? Selma. Selma. Yeah. All right, guys. Good trivia. Good trivia. Who's really got trivia? Helius. <laughs> cool. Nice to see you, sir. Thank you.